Software engineering, computer science dealing with the design, implementation, and maintenance of computer programs. If you spend any amount of time on the internet, you're almost guaranteed to have heard the word bouncing around amongst the recent avalanche of Bitcoin headlines and Elon Musk advertisements. But despite software engineering being a male-dominated field, the term was coined by female Indiana native Margaret Hamilton, best known as one of NASA's first software developers in the late 1960s and early 70s. Hamilton studied mathematics and philosophy at Earlham College, taught high school mathematics after graduating, and accepted a job at MIT shortly after. Afterward. Under her professor Edward N. Lorenz, Hamilton learned several software languages on her own, writing her first programs in hexadecimal and binary while improving software performance for the LGP-30. In the early 1960s, Hamilton began writing software at the MIT Lincoln Laboratory to identify enemy aircraft in the semi-automatic ground environment, or SAGE project, one of the first iterations of Homeland Security in the United States. Computers varied from large to warehouse size large, stating in an interview that when the computer crashed during the execution of your program, lights would be flashing, bells would be ringing, developers and computer operators would come running to find out whose program was doing something bad to the system, a situation sparking her interest in software reliability. A few years later, Hamilton began work at the MIT Instrumentation Laboratory to provide aeronautical technology for NASA, leading the team responsible for developing air handling and data recovery software for in-flight command and lunar modules in the Apollo missions in the event of a computer crash, something that is is, uh, not good if you're launching humans into space. Software engineers were trusted to know what to do since everyone else's perception of software was like our perception of magic and fiction. It just works. When answers couldn't be found to meet deadlines, they had to be invented, with the added pressure of a 0% error tolerance. Why? Because rockets aren't cheap and humans aren't disposable. Some of Hamilton's famous accomplishments also include this famous 1969 photo of Hamilton standing beside an enormous pile of Apollo guidance computer source code. In Hamilton's department, women were always in the minority. Nevertheless, this never became an issue for her. Her team was so preoccupied on meeting critical deadlines that everyone's individual specializations became more of a focal point than their gender. After leaving MIT in the 1970s, Hamilton co-founded Higher Order Software in 1976 and established Hamilton Technologies 10 years later, before being awarded the Exceptional Space Act Award in 2003 by NASA and the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2016 by Barack Obama. Margaret Hamilton believes that software engineering related courses are important for developing all aspects of STEM, helping people become better, more creative problem solvers. She also believes the goal in education is to teach people not what to think, but how to think. When learning something new, her philosophy is to learn fearlessly, continue when things appear to be impossible, and to not be afraid of mistakes. For only those who dare to fail greatly can ever achieve greatly.